Hi, Carol here. Welcome to my craft room. It's so nice to be back in here. I have two projects underway. The second one I'm going to show you this technique that I viewed on a blog called Ink Stains. And her name is Roni, R-O-N-I. And I just found her blog and I found this technique and it's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to give it a go and I wanted to give credit where credit was due and that's where I found it. And um, finished with my second card I'm going to enter in the blog over on Catherine Pooler's site at uh, Stamp Nation. And remember I wanted to cover that split I had with the lace technique. So I made a little sash with some mesh, put some bling in there, put some diamonds around it with some silver... Uh, silver heart here, you know, because it's a heart, it has little hearts going around here. And then the key and the little strands of glue are just free. Uh, you have to pick those off. I put a little bit of bling down here. The I love you went here, and I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to, I think, I'm not going to overdo it. I think it's well, well enough alone. And I got a little bit of a haul, but this isn't what I'm doing. The card I'm doing is using gesso and my stencils and gelatos. So, um, but I'm going to throw my haul in here very fast because I am so excited for our Walmart here in town. They're not a super Walmart. They're just, you know, the average Walmart. And I went in today and this isn't what I went in for, but... Um, of course, I had to check out the scrapbooking stuff because they're really growing with the things and, you know, supplies. And so I love these Lily of the Valley. Look at these. And they were a were dollar and they put them on for two, two for dollar. So I got some of these. Are they not cute? I love Lily of the Valley. I can't even tell you how much I love these. The smell is out of this world. And um, so I bought some of those. I just put them on my flower rack here, put them back, there we are, and I picked up some double-sided tape, remember this double-sided tape is two dollars, and I want to see, I think my camera can come down just a tad here like that, okay, so I got some of this tape, and I didn't get a ton because, you know, I just placed my Stampin' Up! order. I have now officially officially joined Stampin' Up! So I put my my order in there and um, so I'm going to be waiting for that. So I didn't really want to spend too much after doing, you know, place enough a Stampin' Up! order. So I bought these metal embellishments. I just, look at this. For metal embellishments, they were $3.99. And these are stunning. Look at, this looks like my sewing, my new sewing machine I haven't picked up yet. Um, I have to go pick it up. That This is crazy. Paid for and it's sitting, not picked up. I had it sent to uh, a friend, so I have to go over and get it. But anyway, it has the thimble, the sewing machine, the dress form, the thread, and the scissors, all in metal. I mean, I just love it. And so I got that one. I got a corners one. There's eight pieces. Uh, got that. Oh, and then I am going to, this is by Blue Moon Beads. These were on, I think they were $1.50. But anyway, there are necklaces in there. And I'm going to do my bottle cap things. So I need, you know, I'm whatever is shaped like a necklace. And it's 16 inch, which is really good. And it's that little thin leather. Um, you can see it there. Thin and thick. Really nice. And another corner edging. I mean, $4. It's metal. I know that you pay more than that for the Tim Holtz one, and these are really feminine, like really pretty ones, too. I have his, so I'm not partial, but look at this. has the owl, the clock, owls, uh, clocks, uh, buttons. Just beautiful. 
So $3.99, I thought that was a good deal. But here's what I really liked. Um, I picked up, now I have the acrylic blocks by Stampin' Up. I have a lot of acrylic blocks, but I really like the Stampin' Up ones because they're nice and thick and they're, they have that groove in them. I wouldn't switch from another acrylic block. But what I liked about this at Walmart uh, was the fact that it is, it's thick enough. It's not really thin. You have a good grasp on it. But it has the curved one with the curved lines, which makes it really easy for your polymer stamps. And, you know, I generally just put them on, you know, shape them, then put my acrylic block down and stamp it and see whether I have it on there properly. But look at this block. It was $6 for two. I thought that was a good deal. So that's all. I think I've got some makeup. I don't think you want to see my makeup. And uh, that's what I did today. I stopped in and came away with that. Oh, and my makeup down there. I haven't even put it away yet. So I'm just jumping right in and let's get on to this technique here. I just loved it. So I want to see right where I'm working, right there. Okay. So. I'm going to do it because the gelatos I'm going to use, see this is my little chemistry lab where I keep my gelatos, they're actually in, let me just show you, I've shown it before but I just think it's so cute, let me take this off, I kind of have that cargo thing on there because I want to use it, this makes me remember, but isn't this sweet, it has a heart on the top to put your cards if you want up here. And then it has test tubes and it spin. Look at test tubes. So I get to put that's just the one pack of gelatos. I don't have any more. But I found an awesome stamping place in Buffalo, New York. And I didn't even know it existed and I found it. So soon as I can, I'm gonna go over and check it out. But anyway, um let's get on to the gelatos I'm gonna use. I'm going to use blue white, uh, green, hmm, pink, because I, I use the Stampin' Up! Black, Stampin' Up! What blue is this? All I have to do is look. I think this is Tempting Turquoise. This is pretty in pink. And I folded it. I made a fold going down, and the fold is four and a quarter by five and a half. Yeah, and then I just measured the rest downwards in the black piece. Uh, my Stampin' Up! Um, trimmer needs new blades, so I ordered those today because it's nicking and, you know, it makes me want to distress it. And I'm trying to do this card without distressing it. So let's see. This, this, this. Um, I need to choose another color. That's a different pink. Which pink goes better? This pink goes better. And um, let's do yellow. This pale one. There we go. Okay. Put my uh, test tubes away. There we are. All right. So you need gesso. You need some paint brushes. Um, you need some water. Let me grab my water. It's just on the other side here. Right here. Some water. And a stencil. So because this stencil, the, this page, and you want it black, a black sheet. This is Stampin' Up's black cardstock. I ordered more today. I love the thickness of it. It's 80 pounds. So that's a good weight um, for me for black cardstock. Michael's I don't think is 80. I, it's 65. 65 at Michael's and this is... Um, 80. This doesn't look even, but I'll work on that after I'm done here. So, let me see. Yeah, I think I'll use these cone things because the edges you will see better. Um, this is too big. I could use this one. Um, um, boy, oh boy. I really want to see the gesso, so yeah, that one. Okay, there we go. I should have picked all that up without wasting my time on here, but I didn't. 
So you want to tape that down on a surface, which is going to be my craft mat. <clears throat> I just want to see, I want it, I want it kind of to use as much of the cones as I can. There we go. That will be good. Now I have to find some painter's tape or washi tape. That's what I was looking for a little bit ago was my washi tape. It was there and then I said, oh, there's my washi tape. And now I don't know where I said that. Where was my washi tape? Um, well, I'll just use tape tape. I'm not going to take time. I'm telling you, I need to do some more organizing or something. So, I'm just going to put a little bit on here, but I think this will come up easily. I don't want it to shift. So, I am going to tape it right down. And I think on the craft mat it will lift itself up. And I'm going to put some just, I'm going to make an edge on the cardstock up here. So I have an edge here, I have an edge here. Okay, put that away. And I really loved what this, uh, I hope I pronounced her name right, Roni? Roni? R-O-N-I? Well, I can't move that now, can I? What am I thinking? Okay, so let's get our... Um, gesso and this if you haven't used gesso and you haven't done mixed media and you're you know you're kind of like cards only this is a good place to start to test the grounds before you do a canvas I think um, okay let's get out a something to I'm going to use this Michaels card because I can wash it off this is for somebody. I'm sending them this Michael card. I still haven't got it out. Um, let's get... I'm going to take it out of the lid. So you're going to put... Oh, look at this. Never done this before. But you want to uh, put it on. This is kind of nice. I was going to use my spatula or my... I still might. Hang on. Let me see. I'm going to put that on like that. I don't know why that's in a gloop. I must have used it for my last mixed media and didn't. I'm not going to throw it in the garbage because it'll muck up everything. Okay. Ah, oh, feels good to sit down, let me tell you. This better download. I am really getting tired of... Um, I have a new spatula. Look at this. I'm using this. Oh well. Um, oh, that's nice. And you can kind of see as you're doing it. Do you want it, you know, with a little bit of, you want it thick? You just keep going over it till you see what you, you know, what you like. I like that. It's not perfect, but I like it, so I'm sticking with it. So I'm sitting on a, no, oh, there's my cloth here. So I am going to take this and put some of it back. And you're gonna wanna wash this off when you're finished, which I'm not gonna be that long, so I will wash it off. Okay, let's see if this pulls up nicely. My card looks as good as new. And uh, let's lift this up. Awesome. I can see that it's awesome right off the bat. Yowzers, I love that. Okay, I'm going to set this just aside till I bring it downstairs to wash. And I'm liking that. There we go. Did I just put that in there? I did, but that's all right. That's all right. It just adds to it. I'm okay. I want this, although I have to, um, look at this. Isn't that sweet? 
I love this. And now we are going to take and use our, um, well, I'm going to blow it dry for a minute here. I'm going to use the cold, the cool cycle on the Stampin' Up. Um, it has two, it has low and high, and I'm going to dry it on low so it doesn't get super hot. That's what's nice about this Stampin' Up one, where my Marby one gets really hot and it has a wider opening. I got that at Michael's, the Harvey one. But I really like the idea of having a low cycle on this. Because you don't want to uh, put your gelatos on wet gesso. Gesso and gelatos, perfect match. And then I'm going to use the Stampin' Up uh, floral embossing folder. Oh man, I ordered some nice stamps today from Stampin' Up. And I ordered that new uh, texture, or I'm sorry, the embossing machine that you, it's like the big shot, but it's just for sliding your embossing folders in because I thought it'd be really quick to just you know, you're not setting up your Big Shot. I have the Big Shot or my um, Vagabond, you know, for a embossing folder. You just, you know, it just has a sandwich. Put it through. So I ordered that. Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, more texture. Oh, I like that texture. <laughs> Don't hurry it along, Carol. See, I should have had that dry, but I wanted you to see the process. All right, let's give it some heat heat. Some of it's dry, some of it's not. <laughs> ah. We've had such bad weather, I haven't been out doing anything. It felt good to like, you know, go to the bank, go to Walmart. I've literally been a hermit since my accident. Okay, let's see. Nice, okay. Turn it around, get the back so it kind of unfolds it if it would. go. Okay, so let's just see how that works out. That's nice. That texture is very nice. I got my paw in there, just a little spot, but that's okay. That's going to go nicely on my card. So let's get working in our gelatos. I'm going to work it in sideways. So I will start um, and I'm going to work it right on my black. So let's get some right here, down here. Because of this blue I want to uh, major focus on having blue and Sweet. Can you see that? Like, am I on there? Oh, look at this. I am a mess. I'm going to have to put water on that. There's no way that's going to come up. Um, so let's put some gold. There we go. And some white. Which, I like the white because... I have the black. So I'm just going to put a bit on those spots, brighten up the white. There you go. And add some more blue right here. There. Then you're going to take water and a paintbrush and your bottom base is complete. 
sticking my hand in the water to see if this gesso will release itself before it's like permanently on my hands. Let's just see. Probably is, but I'll spend all my time cleaning my hands off. But if I touch this um, project with gelato all over my hands, dipping in my water, there we go. There. Okay, I'm going to grab a paper towel because I already messed that up. Sorry I'm not prepared more, but okay. There, there. I had it everywhere from putting my hands in it and I don't want to mess up the surface here. Okay, let's keep going here and look at how pretty that looks. Okay, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to grab another paintbrush. You can use your uh, your um, blender, uh, your water pens. I have them over there, but this was the first thing I grabbed. So, um, and this is why um, um <laughs> this is why it's good to have. The black cardstock at 80 pounds because this is pretty. I have to switch. This one is has some hairs. It's funny because it um, actually this is nice. It actually yeah. Um, took the hairs off, the bristles off my cheap dollar store paintbrush. Yeah. So you can tell a good paintbrush from a not so good paintbrush. All right. Don't panic. It's not going to look like this. No. I'm going to have bright pink because that pink was just a bit too mild. Better. better. There we go. All right. I want the strokes all going in the same direction though. And if you don't want to roll out, um, you know, muck up your colors, don't back up into the same color and then go over your other colors like you don't know but I thought I'd just mention it. There we go I like that. This is nice and my image has to go on there yet right? Um, I don't have a darker blue so let's add some more blue and I'm not going to add as much water. I think I'm going to do the baby wipe on there. Um, this is coming out really pretty, really pretty. And this technique is so nice. Then I'm going to put my white, uh, well, I'm gonna run my, let me just show you. This is the, this is gonna be my image on there. I'm going to use just the rose. What is with my lights here today? It's really bright, isn't it? Maybe I'll focus up like that. This is really nice uh, Manhattan flower. I got this when I first started stamping up way back when, a year and a half ago, and I've been away six months. And um, yeah, I'm going to soften the gold up because I want the, the, this is a baby wipe. I want the blue to stand out. So I'm going to take off some of the black. I'm going to add some more blue here just to I'm going to put it inside the gold. Take some of my water off. Blend it like this. So pretty. There we go. Not I if you like if I was to do it again, don't use so much water. That's my suggestion. 
There we go. So you're going to have, uh, isn't that pretty? Let me just show you up close. I'm going to put it on the back of this blue. So you see the blue and you see the pink. And then I'm going to come back because my haul took a little bit of time and showing you my card. Let me show you this before I put it down. That is your base. Let me see. Is that better? If I turn that light off for a minute. The texture is wonderful. Everything about it is wonderful. So I'm going to have an image here so that will take away from this spot here. And I'm going to have an image down here. So um, I'm going to work like that. So I think it came out really sweet like that. It uses up your gelatos. It, you know, it, um, just going to color this one in a little more. You know, I really like when you don't have a pure texture on here. I'm just going to add, I'm going to darken up a few of these hexagons with a darker color instead of making it so uniform. That's much better. Um, let's grab the pink and we'll darken up the pink in a few spots here. I'm still going to brush it out, but... And then I will do a bit of the gold. A little darker. You don't want everything the same. It doesn't give it any texture on there like this. Okay, so then you can just take your paintbrush where it's not so wet and don't forget to go over to ink stains if you want to see it done properly. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because you know what? We're unique. All of our work is our own special touch and I love what she did there. It gave me some inspiration to do this card right. So that's good. And um, as soon as I get my Stampin' Up! order in, which would be the end of next week, I will be posting on Stamp Connection. And you will see my videos there. Looking forward to that. Let's add some pink up there. Okay, so I'm going to do the second half and let's just get this down. Might as well while we're right here. It's just killing me not to... Um, not to distress. Really it is, but I'm going to do a nice crisp clean card. And uh, this is the Dimensional 6 one sixteenth, but they're black from Jody at the Sticky Stuff store. If you're looking for black dimensionals that are wonderful, the Sticky Stuff store. Check it out. And I only need the black on this black and then I'll use the white no, I'm not gonna. I'm only gonna put the one up. And they have all different shapes and sizes at the Sticky Stuff store. So go over and check it out. One there, one there. I don't even need to use that much. So just cut them off. So you want half and half. Now you want to take 